Good evening. Uh, this afternoon we're going to be revisiting an old video on making uh, paper cartridges. I have a few new firearms that take a few new bullets. So, let's get into it. start with my smallest caliber and that would be the Remington 44. Now what's the first rule? First rule is treat the weapon as if it's loaded. What's the second rule? Confirm that the weapon is not. So take your plunger. What does that help you? Only if you know where it sets when the cylinder is already loaded. Alright so what's another way? You can manipulate it until you get into a position where you can see the cylinder but that's dangerous because let's say you have the hammer in the full cock position and the barrel's pointing at you when you accidentally squeeze the trigger. So you see where that's going. So, drop your plunger, take your cylinder pin, make sure it's all the way out, rotate the pistol slightly, barely pull back on the hammer, cylinder's empty. Now, the Remington New Model Army are percussion cap revolvers manufactured in 31 Pocket, 36 Navy, and 44 Army. The, Army, uh, the Remington New Army model was used by both Union and Confederate soldiers during the Civil War and were the beginning of medium and heavy framed pistols. They fire a 44 ball or a 44 conical. But first, instead of just dumping the powder, dropping the ball, and then plunging it, Let's do some pre-mades. Okay, so let's start with our 44 caliber ball. It takes 30 grains of 3F black powder or black powder to substitute. So right here, here's our powder gauge on 30 grains. I'm gonna load it straight from a powder flask. So I'm gonna angle this up, push the plunger, There we go, we have one powder gauge of 30 grains. So, lay that down right there, out of the way. This kit I actually got from Guns of the West. So there's our 44 former. And it already comes with its paper. So, here's Two sheets, we're only gonna need one. Here's our bottom. We're also gonna need some glue. So, it comes with its own glue, but I don't like it. My brother doesn't like it. So we're gonna use Elmer's glue. I can't show it for copyright reasons. We are not sponsored by Elmer's. All right, now we're gonna get some scissors. Cut that piece in half. Okay, so now that's cut in half, got our Elmer's glue. Then we're just gonna, you want a little hanging over? I'll show you why later. Then you're just gonna roll it onto the former. If it will let cooperate. All right, take your glue, glue that edge.
take your bottom, fold it over a little bit, add a little more glue, add some glue to the sides, take your paper dot, put it on top of the, I forgot what he calls it, so let's not worry about that, and then just down. All right, so this gonna set for a little bit. Okay, now that it's set, take your box cutter, and it only takes a couple seconds. I should have said that. It takes a couple seconds. I just had to find the box cutter. Or you could use a pocket knife. Pop that out, find the ridge, and just follow along it. Now it should just come off. Yep, all right. Put it back in its bottom. Take your powder gauge. It does come with a flask. Alright, so there's one. Take your bowl, just drop it in. I use the bottom of the former and just I tap it in and then you have any paper that's just loosely floating, like I have one corner, let me bring it up to you, one corner. I'm going to take my liquid glue, add a drop, and this will help hold the paper to the ball. Alright, so that's one 30 grain, 40 caliber, pre-made cartridge. Now next let's move on to the mini bullet. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing for our conical. So we're gonna take that other half of paper we cut up. We're gonna wrap it around. Get my handy dandy glue stick. Hold the bottom, add a little glue on the bottom, bring the bottom of our former, narrow end goes down, get another little paper disc, let that set, and because it's a conical it actually takes less powder than a round ball. So we're going to drop it down 10, so we're going to go from 30 to 20, pop our top, get our powder flask, and here's our conical. So I actually don't know how this is going to work with the conical. This is meant for round balls. So we're just going to pop this out real quick. Set that down. The conical was invented by a British Army captain named John Horton in 1832. So let's add our powder. Now you have to grease a round ball, but you have the lube a conical. So we're going to take a little bit of our lube. Maxi Lube. I'm not sure if I can show you the drawers. I'm just not gonna. Not sponsored by Maxi Lube. Now you see here, it's got lube grooves. That's actually what they're called. So, these are lube grooves. As best as we can. It's awfully messy, so have a paper towel around you as well. Get rid of its chunks. And we're just gonna slide that in. Like so. Wipe our hands, and then same thing, you're going to take your liquid glue, add it around, twist, that way it's glued to the bullet, and there you go. Now we have a 44 conical pre-made. Alright, our next one is going to be a 50 caliber ball. Here's our former for that, and we're going to use coffee filter paper. 
I chose the unbleached kind just because it looks more accurate. So, if you're gonna cut that into a quarter, let me see if I can adjust my camera real quick. Now will it stay that way? Yeah, kind of. No. Oh, okay. Sticks were made. Sticks were made. Okay, it seems to be holding for now. So, take your former, take your bowl, and then you're just gonna fold over that, add glue, roll it over, and then just roll it. Add glue to that piece, hold it over, add glue to this piece, hold it over, alright, so, slide out your former, now, uh, if you remember my Hawking's rifle, you know it takes 70 grains of powder. I'm actually gonna drop that down to 60. So here's my gauge. Open this up to 60. Oh, check your inside. Cause you don't want your powders mixing. I have no 3F left. So now I'm gonna pour 2F down it and I'll bring you back when I'm done with that. Okay, so now we have our 2F and our powder gauge. Just pour it straight down. And this one, we're not going to worry about gluing. So we're going to find where it's solid, right here. Twist. Then roll over. Alright. Now we have one fifty cal rifle pre-made. Now let's move on to enable it. So. This we... Uh, hold on. Let me catch myself back up. Alright, so, the mini bullet, or mini bullet, depending on how you want to pronounce it, was invented in 1849 by two French captains, Claude Minet and Henri de Vaux, de Vauge? I don't know how to pronounce his last name, I'll throw it up in the notes, and was used in rifles for a more accurate firing. So as you saw with our conical on the 44, it follows the same rules as with um, a mini bullet. So, we're going to drop it 10 more, just to be safe. So we're going to do 50 grains of powder. And then because we can't put grease over the top, we're going to once again lube up our lube grooves. Let me put that in its cap real quick. All right, hold on, I got to take care of something real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's do the same thing. We got our former. We got our mini bullet. But we don't want to go completely over it. So we're gonna wrap it like that. And we're gonna use our liquid glue this time. Uh-oh, oh, I didn't open up far enough. Roll it this way. Take this flap, push it over onto the bullet. Take more glue. And just roll it shut. And because this is liquid glue, it will take a little while longer. But for the most part, that's done. So, pull out your former. Drop in your 50 grains of 2F powder or 2F powder black uh, substitute. Let me close my glue up. And then find where it's solid. Roll. And fold over. Now I have a 50 cal mini bullet. Next gun, and it's a big one. All right, our next gun. This is a Black Powder Baker Cavalry Shotgun. Same thing, first rules, assume it's loaded. 
Check and confirm. Nothing down that barrel. Nothing down that barrel. Check your nipples. I'm gonna put this one in half cock. No, actually, I'm gonna put this one in full cock. Nothing on that one. Put this one in half cock. Nothing in that one. What's up? I'm gonna put my finger on the trigger. Barely pull back. Engage the trigger. Disengage the hammer. Barely pull back. Engage the trigger. Disengage the hammer. This gun, as you can see here, it's called my medicine stick. You can barely see that. Anyhow. <clears throat> Typical English school, this side-by-side -side 20 gauge shotgun with an 11 and a quarter inch barrel with sequel trigger was made by, uh, was made in 1850 by Ezekiel Baker in London and it was also used by Union and Confederate soldiers. So, let's make the cartridges for it. Okay, so next is our 20 gauge shotgun. We're going to take our former, the coffee paper, we're going to roll it. Add your glue stick. You're gonna need a pencil. This is your over the powder wad. Lay that over. Push this a little more forward. This is your lube wad. Insert that. Just push the paper a little more forward. Add your ball. We're also going to need a little bit of string. And we're just going to tie that right underneath the ball, but over the lube wad. So you don't want to wrench it down. But the whole point of this is to keep the powder from getting past the main, well, the slug. Keep the powder from getting past the slug. And then you're just going to trim off whatever you don't need. All right, so there's that. Over the shot wad. And then your felt wad, which adds like extra lube. So there we go. Push it a little more forward. And then if you want, take your liquid glue. I lost my liquid glue. Give me a sec. All right, take your liquid glue. Line the edges. I'm trying to watch through the lens to do it at the same time, it's just not working. Fold it over. And that keeps everything in place. All right. And because this is a shotgun, you I'll pick that up later. You think you'd want to use um, rifle powder? Actually, no. You want to use pistol powder. It takes 60 grains of 3F. So here's our powder gauge. 60 grains. Pop the top. Check. I have no 2F left in there. Powder flask. Plunger. And right there is 60 grains 3F powder for the shotgun slug. Remove your former, add powder, check. All right, and then like the, like the 50 cal, grab above it, twist, fold. There we go, we have one 20 gauge, 60 grain slug. Okay, now we're gonna make a buck and ball shot. Uh, buck and ball was frequently used in the American Revolution. It was also used in the early days of the American Civil War. The load consisted of a, a ball and up to three to six pellets. It was heavily used by the Union's Irish Brigade at Gettysburg. So, same thing. We're going to take our coffee filter, our former. We're also going to take our over-the-powder wad and our lube wad. And we're just going to roll it. Get our glue stick.
continue to roll this. Get our ball, drop that down. We're also gonna need some string. And the same thing, you wanna tie it just under the ball, but over the wad. So, there's the ball. I don't think I cut a long enough piece. Oh, just barely. Okay, you don't want it super tight. And I think just to hold that there, I'm gonna add a little drop of liquid glue. Cool. All right, the pellets I'm using are point one seven seven cal. I believe they'd use something bigger. I'm like I'm not, I either a twenty two or thirty six. Anyhow, bring this back up. Ugh. Drop these in. Over the shot wad. Felt powder wad. No, just felt wad. Felt wad. Take your liquid glue. And then you're just going to glue the top of the paper to it. Now this is important to leave set because now there's weight behind the pellets and the pellets will push through. So we're going to leave that set. So with that setting and drying and getting ready and all that fun jazz. Oh man, maybe I need to have something. No, I'm just going to turn it upside down. No, because that defeats the whole purpose. I'm going to let that figure itself out. All right, so 60 grains, 3F powder. I'm not going to flip that over immediately. I'm going to wait for that to dry, so I'll bring you back when I feel it is dry. Okay, I feel it has dried. Yes, okay, so remove your former. Add your 60 grains of 3F powder. And then same thing. Pinch, twist, and fold. There we go. Now we have one 20 gauge buck and ball shot. Here, here we are. 30 grain, 40 caliber ball. 20 grain, 40 caliber conical. 60 grain, 50 caliber ball, 50 grain, 50 cal caliber mini bullet, 60 grains, 20 gauge slug, 60 grains, 20 gauge buck and ball. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learning about the different kinds of black powder um, bullets and all the different charges and history on some of the weapons. So until our next project, have a beautiful day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button. If you have any suggestions or criticisms, leave a comment. And if you want to stay tuned for my next project, don't forget to click that subscribe icon and ring that bell. So, until our next project, have a beautiful day.